Hi, every dApp needs to connect to a wallet. So today we are bootstrapping a simple yet effective wallet picker that connects to most of the uh, popular wallet providers. For this, we'll use two cool things. The first one is a web free model library. It's uh, very popular and as you can see, it looks clean. It's used by, uh, looks familiar because it's used by many uh, other popular sites. But it's also very easy to implement and uh, it's very modular because it allows you to uh, implement uh, many other options with uh, really uh, tiny code snippets. So uh, uh, let's see how it looks like by default and for that uh, we'll use a, a repository uh, from the internet from other user. You will find the link in the description. And uh, it looks like this by default. So we can connect your wallet. Let's connect a MetaMask wallet. It has a network switcher, so uh, things you need uh, in your simple dApps. Let's switch to Ringibi. It also allows you, lets you try assigning messages and uh, verifying them. Uh, but uh, that's only MetaMask, and uh, we would like to implement uh, other options other than uh, Coinbase Wallet uh, and uh, Wallet Connect. But as you can see here, uh, it even lets you uh, install the Coinbase Wallet if it doesn't exist in your browser. So pretty cool, it handles most of the implementation uh, for you. In this tutorial, we will add few other wallets. So let's say we want to add Formatic to do that, we go to web free model and we can copy paste the, the import also the instructions. You just need to follow the instructions, honestly. So that's the formatic import and we also need the options. Okay, let's add it by dependency because we can do that. Okay, let's connect the wallet and we can see that uh, the formatic appeared. So if we click on that, we have to wait a little, yes. So we can continue, we can follow the steps and sign up. So to work that, uh, it's not a problem. You can see that uh, you need to uh, put your email and so on from the data. Uh, so uh, let's add something more, for example, parties. We will follow the steps again, but for the parties. Importing. And the data. All right, we need also to add dependency. And let's try to connect wallet. Great, here we have our parties. And let's try uh, once again with the burner connect to show that it's just simple as that. Again, the import. And also the data from the provider options. All right, let's add dependency again. Let's connect wallet. As you can see, we built a wallet picker with minimal effort on top of the sandbox repository. But uh, if you want to continue to work on this project in your Visual Studio code, uh, although the uh, code sandbox uh, 
program is pretty cool for bootstraps like that. Uh, you can just download the repo uh, using the file uh, export to zip, save it and uh, continue to work on it uh, using your ID of choice. So that's about it in this short tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. See you next time. Thank you.